What's up everyone? It's your boy Norrenrad89 here bringing another Strike Force video today. And for today's video, we are gonna be unlocking Jubilee with this Pimtech team you see here, which is mostly ghost. My ghost is gear 13. She's like 76, 78 K. She's the main beefy part of this team. The rest of the characters on this team are like gear eights and nines, so like I said, she's going to do most of the heavy lifting for sure, and we get Lended, a Jubilee, and Bishop, as you can see. So they're going to help out for sure for us tackling this node and being able to unlock Jubilee this go-round, which is definitely going to help me out because I'm trying to build up my Axe Man, which is good for me because that's what I'm building towards is Doom Raid, and Axe Man is definitely going to help me for sure. And just in general, raids, they're like the best team right now. They don't have a lot of benefit, like too much outside of raids. Like that's what like the symbiotes, like I've noticed, have like a kind of more benefit, you know, outside of raids and other stuff like that. But I'm still looking forward to the Axemen because right around my alliance, where we're at right now, is like trying to jump into Doom Raid and get that nailed down so we can try to do that at least once a week. But as you can see, I just try to get main priority targets out of there, you know. Iceman does some a lot of damage, you know. I want to get Juggernaut out of there first, because once he taunts, he just screws everything up. Pyro is pretty dangerous too, so if we can get Pyro out of there pretty fast, that's a, that's a good help as well. And the only thing I did to this team, I really didn't touch anything on this Pym Tech team. The only thing I added to this team was... I just I put a healer ISO on stature. Like, I really don't know why. It was just like a random thought, random feeling I had, and I did that. But besides that, I didn't gear any of them up. Like, besides uh, gear 8 or 9, I think is the highest for the other characters. And Ghost is gear 13. And after we're done with this battle, too, we're going to be seeing how far we can take her up. I don't know exactly how far I'm going to be taking her. I've been saving mutant gear up for a little bit. But I might have to open some of those uh, blue gear raid orbs. Oh, and messages. I forgot to turn those off from Discord. <laughs> you might see some notifications from Discord popping up at the top then. <laughs> Magneto's another one too. If you want to like, see Magneto pop down, and try to get him out as soon as possible too. And we're definitely going to be finishing like this easy peasy. Like I said, 165k. I was hoping we didn't, like I said, wouldn't have to have to put anything else into Pym Tech because I already started like really early game. So my Wakandans are beefed up enough to do like the one, was it Beta Raid or Gamma Raid, whichever one that has those in it. But I'm very happy to be getting this Jubilee unlock because that'll be the last legendary I need besides Adam Warlock which is pretty awesome so that'll be my next venture is to try to get him and Sabretooth is gone out of there thank you very much give me my jubilee right now please and there we are let's recruit her jubilee right now three red stars I definitely want to try to get more red stars on her like five would be nice but we're gonna gear her up, take her up, level her up, and see what we can do. I actually have some T4s saved up, so I should be able to drop some T4s on her as well. More Discord messages. Ha ha ha. Now we'll just equip and see. We might get stuck at some of the blue gear, so that's what I mean. I might have to dive into some of those blue gear orbs to see where we're at. Alright, after popping some of these orbs, let's see where we are at and where we can take her. Keep gearing her up, and as I said, I have enough. I'll probably do her passive first, and then I think I actually might have enough to do her ultimate, but I don't know if I have enough training modules to take her up. So we'll see. Well, I'll crack some more of these open. That's the only thing that hinders me is those blue orbs, or those blue gears. We'll see if the purple ones too, then we might hit a little, hit a, hit a little bump there too. Alright, gear 9. Then after this, we'll take up her abilities and see how far we can get her with that, and drop an ISO. Rat. I think I'm going to do the passive first right here on Mall Rat. I'll do that one. That's my first T4. 
get this team up and running. I got the Dad Brothers pretty beefed up too, but I gotta put all kinds of gear on Bishop and all the others. I've just been farming them up. I haven't done any gear on those ones because I've been saving all my mutant gear for Jubilee. And here we go. After the ISO Striker and T4 on the Mall Rat, 42k. That's where she's in and at. Hopefully, maybe try to upgrade some red stars on her too when I get a chance. Don't forget to drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. Helps out the channel. Peace out, everybody.